Good evening, everyone, and thanks for being here tonight on Crempton News at 10. I'm Regina on. Well, it's no secret it's been tough on restaurants and foodies during the pandemic. An exciting time as more restaurants are reopening now that we're in phase two. New at 10 now, Crempton's Morgan Chow introduces us to a restaurant that's taking a phased in approach to serving food again. The light is back on at this Spokane staple. After nearly a year of being closed, Casper Fry is starting the reopening process. In March of 2020, this family owned restaurant closed their doors and turned off the lights. With indoor dining shutting down, Deb Green had to weigh the pros and cons of keeping Casper Fry open for takeout only and decided it was best to close. Now, 11 months later, the doors reopened. Uh, my heart's racing right now. Um, but there's a little um, scary anticip anticipation as well. Being shut down for so long, Green started to doubt what she should do to keep customers interested in the Southern inspired American bar and eatery. She considered rebranding and offering a different type of food, but she wanted to stay true to the restaurant's beginning. It seemed important just to open it back up as Casper Fry. It's heartwarming for us to be here and um, it's uh, emotional for us. So just the outpouring of love and support and all the good wishes made it um, possible for us just to pull ourselves up by the bootstraps and say, all right, let's do it. Her and her family own two other Spokane restaurants, Durkin's and Madeline's. They decided not to fully shut down the other two, which they said was still overwhelming. She says she applied for every loan available, and that is why Casper Fry is still here today and able to open tonight. And quite frankly, it would have been difficult without those funds. But we were going to open tonight, do a little pop-up, give everybody a little test, uh, dip our toes in the water. Their full bar is open, and they have six hot ticket menu items available. This pop-up is only taking place today, but there will be another one on Friday, February 26th. They are scheduled to totally reopen under the guidelines in early March, but they say they may be able to open sooner than that due to continued support from the community. Reporting in the Perry District, Morgan Trow, Prem 2 News.